Hello, this is Moi Ban, a zombie architect who loves city legends and horror stories. Today's topic is a continuation of the last episode where I talked about the story of the haunted building on the high street of Hong Kong. And today's story also happened in the high street of Hong Kong. And let's get into it. The parking spot of death. The garage of death was said to have caused a society panic in Hong Kong in the 1990s, as this garage claimed several lives. According to rumors, there's a truck driver named Chang who lived around the high street. Not only does he like to drink, but everyone who knew him think he has an awful personality. There's a public underground garage on the high street which can be used by public. Chang made a lot of money by smuggling goods back then, so he bought a second-hand truck and became his own boss. He likes the parking spot of number 44 in the zone C of this underground garage. So he wanted to own this parking place to himself. Despite its public parking area, he took a wooden sign and wrote in red pen, Private parking space. If you park on my spot, you are dead. Then he put the wooden sign in the zone C, parking spot number 44. The neighbors were very angry when they saw it because it should be a public parking place. But the sound of C and 44 is related to death in Chinese and Cantonese, so they didn't want to bother. Some kids even ran to the parking spot after they hear the rumors. Everyone felt that the wooden sign had a creepy feeling that brings them goosebumps. Next day, Chang went out early to buy some goods as usual and planned to open for business at 9 o'clock. Later that day, Chang's friend came to him for a drink, but waited for a long time and he haven't returned. They went to search for him and saw many cats and dogs in the garage and barking. Chang's friends went into the garage to investigate. As soon as the flashlight turned on, they saw that Chang's truck was already parked in the parking space. Everyone saw the wooden sign written in red pen standing in front of the truck. After a closer look, he found that Chang was dead in the car. Soon, police cars and ambulances all came to the scene. Some neighbors also followed to see what happened. When the light was shining into the car, they saw Chang's wide open eyes revealing a look of horror and despair. His entire face was covered with blood, and his hands were still on the steering wheel. After the body examination, the time of death of Chang was around 8 o'clock in the morning that day, but Chang's friend claimed that they went in and looked at the parking spot several times. The truck was not there, but later it was confirmed by a doctor that the body had never left the truck. It was so difficult for the police to solve the case, as it was too weird and there was no clue. So it was shelved. But no one dared to move the wooden sign, and no one dared to park in that parking space anymore. Three months after Chang's death, something strange happened again. A new tenant didn't know that there had been a horrible instance in this area, so he kicked the wooden sign away and parked his car in the parking spot number 44, Zone C. He was found dead in the car next day. The situation was exactly the same as Chang. Since then, everyone was even afraid to pass by the parking space. One year after the second murder, another tragedy happened. A group of four young men who liked spirits inquired these two cases and came to explore in the garage. They were sitting in the car, intending to spend the night there and rewritten the wooden sign as private parking space. If you park on my spot, you will be success in life. As a result, Four bodies were discovered the next morning in the same spot. The four of them died with their eyes wide open and their mouths open as if they had encountered something that's very scary before they died. In addition, the faces of four people were covered in blood. The wooden sign that was originally outside of the car was discovered in their car, held by two dead behind, and the scene was quite horrifying. The news of four people died in the same garage spread through Hong Kong. The residents near the garage later hired a feng shui master to do a cleanse in the area, and then sealed the entire garage with concrete. Before being sealed, concrete was also mixed with sealing spells, chicken feathers, dog blood, and other things that can seal the evil. After the public garage was closed, the government rebuilt an above-ground parking lot in another part of the community. And the resident who witnessed these cases received a compensation from the government. Therefore, the murder garage on the high street became a horror legend back in the 90s. But later on, it was told to the world in the movie Midnight Garage. 
You can check it out if you're interested. And this is a story I want to share with you today. I hope you liked it. If you enjoy listening to city legends like this and want to hear some more, please give this video a like and subscribe. Also, leave a comment down below. If you have any suggestions, please let me know as well. And I will see you in the next episode where I share more stories that happen in Hong Kong. Bye bye.